if you say we are united with nature, then people go, great, it's about time we did that because we were, we were mistreating nature so horribly, so we should unite with it. But nature has it all over you, has it so far above you, it, it already knows about birth, life, and death. That's its purpose. And you're going to buy into that and then think yourself to be born and die and think yourself to, to be the owner of a mind that enjoys happiness and suffers sorrow, then you're just playing into nature's game. And that's why they say nature's insentient, consciousness is sentient. So this is where the separation happens. And when that separation happens, then you can call nature your own. When you call nature your own, when you saw it separate from you, that's when you begin to suffer. But if you, you see nature as being within you and you being the master of it, you can sport in the world. You can play in the fields of the Lord. Krishna said, here I can eat, drink, and be merry. There's nothing wrong with being here in the body in this world. 